Okay, so that's all well and good. Uh, and let's take a look at, um, you know, we kind of understand how all that works. That's pretty slick so far. Another handy thing for us to kind of bear in mind is that many of these MIDI controllers now have multiple pages. Um, and like, you know, wh what does that mean, Matt? That seems kind of like a crazy thing to say. Well, let's bring up our MIDI device mapper one more time so we can see this kind of in action. So we can see here when we're looking at our launch control and when we're looking at our sliders, right? Right off the bat, we can see that this slider, right, is S1. That's great. I can see its um, channel index, its message. All that looks pretty good so far. Um, no surprises there. If, however, I hit this little button over here for factory, and I go and move this same slider again, now my MIDI in chop is working, but my MIDI in map isn't working. So what gives, Matt? Well, what this is representing is that there's actually multiple pages or multiple assignments for this device in terms of how it's conceptualizing this set of sliders or the set of knobs. So, uh, in effect, we get to treat this knob as if it were two knobs, right? That's where it gets really fun and exciting. So, you know, let's kind of take a look at what that might mean. So, let's go ahead and add a channel. In this case, it's going to be S3, right? That's going to be our next channel name. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that when I'm in factory mode, um, I've got one assignment for this slider. And when I'm in user mode, I have a different assignment for this slider. So this will be S1, right? This is my uh, user assignment for this. And if I switch over here, let's go ahead and track that down. So in that case, our message is going to be uh, BD15 dash dash great and we should see that when we move this and again there we go all right so now we've got two assignments for this single knob this knob is both s3 and it's s1 so you know if you're working with a kind of limited amount of desk space uh, when you go out to do a gig or something like that uh, a MIDI device that's got multiple pages can kind of help you solve the problem of how can you control an A deck and a B deck with just a single controller, right? Because now you can kind of think of A deck and B deck, right? You've kind of got two different sets of effects that you can manipulate. You just have to remember how to keep track of what's going on here.